Big Flynn Studios in sunny Southern California. It's Big Flynn's Pigskin Picks with your host, Lorenzo Big Flynn Fleming. This is your host, Lorenzo Big Flynn Fleming, coming to you once again with a brand new season of Big Flynn's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition 2022 for week number two. Yes, I apologize. I didn't record the debut episode last week. Like I said, I've been out of town for a Labor Day weekend and wasn't able to do no recording like I want. And I know there were some very interesting games and stuff like that, so... So I decided to make it up and start recording the brand new 22 season of the college football with week number two. Like I said, we have some interesting lineups this week as well. And of course, there's still a bunch of cream puff games, as I call it, cream puff teams. You know, the F- F- FBS teams playing FCS teams just to pad their stats, you know, saying that at least got one or two wins, early wins under their belt for the season. So. All right, folks, I hope that you had a great Labor Day weekend. I sure have. Like I said, it was very eventful, as I would say. Um, like I said, I traveled me. My family went to travel to Texas and did some sightseeing. Went to the Dallas Zoo. Like I said, encouraged, you know, encountered some nasty, severe thunderstorms in Dallas last weekend. And then kind of some on my way back, traveling through Texas, through New Mexico, and then Arizona, back here to Southern California, and we finally getting some rain for a change of pace, because they say it never rains in Southern California, but thank God that we finally getting some rain lately over the last you no know, day and a half now, so we're thankful for that. So, so let's go ahead and get this party started, shall we? All right, I know there's a couple of earlier games that I've already made predictions for, which could probably already completed already. Um, with both FBS and FCS. Like I said, my first one I'm going to look at is... Okay, let's get through here. I've got so much stuff going on here. So, okay, sorry for the little tongue twister there, but we'll go ahead and get started here, in all seriousness. We have the number 15 rank... Miami, Florida, you know, Hurricanes, a.k.a. the Thunderstorm down in South Florida, hosting the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Like I say, Miami won their you no know, game opening game last week. And then, of course, like I said, Southern Miss lost their opening game last week, and they, hopefully they can get on the scoreboard. And also, I heard something today on ESPN College Game Day that the legendary 49er running back Frank Gore He's a alumni, alumnus of my University of Miami. His son, Frank Gore Jr., plays for Southern Mississippi, so that'll be an interesting thing, family conversation today. And I know that his dad and some of his friends are rooting for the U or Thunderstorm to win handily over Southern Miss. Right now, the odds makers got them at a 25-point favorite. So we're going to pick the number 15 ranked University of Miami, Florida Hurricanes, a.k.a. the Thunderstorm, over Southern Miss Golden Eagles. And also good luck to Frank Gore Jr., the son of the 49er running back, Frank Gore. All right, our next um, pick we're going to look at is the number 23 ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons. They won their season opener. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now, they take their show on the road to Nashville, Music City, USA, to take on surprising 2-0 and Vanderbilt Commodores. Wow, they've already won two games already. So, we'll see what's up, what they're all about. You know, they already are 2-0 and already. And I said Wake Forest. And right now, the odds makers have Wake Forest as a 12.5 point favorite to win. So, we're going to stick with Wake Forest over Vanderbilt. All right, our next matchup, we have the number 16th ranked Arkansas Razorbacks. Sweet! Sorry if I did a bad job at that. As they host their home opener in Fayetteville, Arkansas, not North Carolina, folks. <laughs> Against the SEC, this is the SEC opener for, for both teams. As they host the South Carolina Gamecocks, a.k.a. the Game Chickens from Columbia. 
South Carolina, that is. <laughs> like I said, Sam Pittman, the former Georgia offensive coordinator in his second in his second year as head coach of the Razorbacks. Hopefully they'll have a great season this year in the SEC, especially in the SEC West. So, and then with South Carolina, with Shawn Beamer, the son of the Virginia Tech legendary coach Frank Beamer. This is his second season coaching the Gamecocks, a.k.a. Game Chickens. So, right now, Arkansas is a two, excuse me, five, eight and a half point favorite. I'll say Arkansas probably beat them by two touchdowns at least. So, we're picking Arkansas over South Carolina. And also, a big game, this is like a big highlight game for this weekend, is number one ranked Alabama Crimson Tide taking their show on the road, leaving Tal no, Tuscaloosa to head to Austin, Texas to take on the Texas Longhorn, also at 1-0. Like I said, if you haven't heard yet that Texas and Oklahoma are planning to leave the Big 12 and to come to the SEC, and right now, Texas is going to get their early test of what it feels like to play an SEC school. So, right now, they, they got Alabama at a 20-point favorite. Um, like I said, we'll see how Bryce Young handles that in that offense, and as well as their, their wide receivers. Wow, Willie Anderson. Wow. You know, so Nick Saban, I know that he'll have those guys ready. So, we're going to pick... Number one ranked roll tide over the Longhorns. All right, our next game we have the Army West Point, the Black Knights of the United States Military Academy. Go Army! Right now, they're trying to get their first win of the season after stumbling last week as they have their home opener as they host the University of Texas San Antonio. The Roadrunners also trying to get their first win of the season as well. Right now, the odds makers at the San Antonio, the, yeah, San Antonio Roadrunners, you know, as a two and a half point favorites. I guess this is going to be a close game, but we're going to pick the U.S. Army, U.S. Military Academy, the Army West Point Black Knights, over the Roadrunners. All right, our next pick we have, we have. Let me see what we got here. Like I said, there's a lot of cream puff games between the FBS and the F F FCS team. So, all right, our next pick we got the number five, number five ranked Clemson Tigers. You know, they won day one handily in Atlanta against Georgia Tech, the Yellow Jackets, aka the Broken Down Rex or the Bumblebees. You know, they beat them handily because last year they narrowly lost to Georgia. Last year in the day season opener last year, which helped propel Georgia to the national championship. So they'll take on our other state cross our other state right they took on our other state rivalry last week. Now they're gonna take on another local South Carolina team, upstate um, in the Furman Paladins. They also want to know. Like I said, they're from the Southern Conference. I think they're still in the Southern Conference. Right now Though there's no odds for that since they figure Clemson will handily beat Furman. So, with that being said, we're going to go with the number five ranked Clemson Tigers and our route over Furman. Well, I guess I'll be considered a cream puff game also. Then, our next matchup, we have the 17th ranked Pittsburgh Panthers out of the ACC as they host the number 24th ranked Tennessee Volunteers, the Voluntold. You know, Josh Heupel in his second year as Tennessee coach, you know, trying to get things going up there in Rocky Top. And there's some talk that they hope they'll be able to improve from last year, but we'll see about that. So, like I said, the odds makers got Tennessee in a six-point favorite over over Pittsburgh, but we're going to go with Pittsburgh and the Panthers from the ACC. All right, our next pick we have. The Washington State Cougars traveling all the way from Pullman, a.k.a. the Palouse, in the Pac-12 Conference. They, they won their season over last week. They travel to Madison, Wisconsin, the capital of Wisconsin, in cheese country, in cheese curd country. I was there last year for military duty. And I spent, well, I've been there twice last year. I had to go there for my Army Reserve annual training for about 16, 17 days. 
And then I went back there for a month for my senior leaders course, uh, primary military education course, in order for me to get my current rank of Sergeant First Class in the Army Reserve. So I spent some time there in the area. Very interesting. Like I said, they love their cheese curds, and of course they love their Packers. But getting back to the subject at hand, um, right now I've got the 19th rank Wisconsin Badgers. Right now, hopefully they're hoping to shoot for winning the Big Ten West division and hopefully win the Big Ten um, championship this year. Right now, the odds makers got oh, the Badgers at a 17 and a half point favor. Who am I to disagree? So we're going to go with the number 19th ranked Wisconsin Badgers over the Washington State Cougars. All right. Our next pick we have, we have the Colorado Buffaloes in the Pac-12. Like they lost their season opener last week as they travel to Colorado Springs down the road on I-25 south of Denver in Boulder, Colorado, as they take on the Air Force Academy Falcons. Yeah, the Zoomies, as I call them, you know, since they're a service branch. So, like I said, the odds makers got the Air Force Academy at 17.5 point favorite over the Buffaloes. So, I guess I'll stick with them then. Maybe they probably might cover, make that cover and might beat them by three scores. Who knows? But we're going to go with the Air Force Academy Falcons for those Zoomies out there, the Air Force veterans and Air Force service members out there, and Space Space Force Guardians as well. Gotta love them. Hey, all right, now let's move it along here. Right now, our next pick, we have the Virginia Cavaliers at 1-0. They won their season opener last week as they take on the Fighting Illini of Illinois, University of Illinois, home game at Champaign-Urbana. And they were 1-1. One one. So are they at 500? So hopefully the Virginia Cavaliers will make some noise this year in the ACC. Right now there's no odds. Okay, let me. I stand corrected. Um, right now the odds makers they got Illinois to win the final line. I with a four and a half points favorite to win. <laughs> but we're going to you know go against the trend and we're going to go with the Virginia Cavaliers to win a close one over the fighting the line. I. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Big Flim's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition 2022 for week number two here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Hey, folks, this is Lorenzo Big Flim Fleming, host creator of Big Flim Radio and TV podcast channel. As you all know, we're getting re- we are rolling into the second year of this coronavirus pandemic, and right now there's a new variant that is posing a serious threat to our health and well-being. If you haven't known by now, it's the Omicron variant, and so far as surpassing the previous variant, the Delta variant. So, like I said, I know it's un- it's very unpleasant and very uncomfortable, but please, 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 we got to stay cognizant of our health and well-being of our fellow man, you know, please practice social distancing, you know, stay six feet apart from me, from others, make sure you wear your mask, make sure you use your hand sanitizers and definitely wash your hands at least 20 seconds. And if you are vaccinated, please, by all means, get the booster from Pfizer. And if you're not vaccinated, well, like I said, my personal opinion is that you should get the vaccine. You know, there's a lot of ifs and unver- unknowns out there and a lot of people are afraid and a lot of people don't want to be told what to do in re- reference to their health but in order for us to combat this COVID-19 pandemic we got to do our part to do what needs to be done so I would encourage you like I say it is up to you it is your decision whether you get the vaccine or not so please take your life seriously take your family and your loved one's lives seriously and do what needs to be done in order to minimize this COVID pandemic. Big Flim Radio and TV cares and I hope to see you soon in this new year as we continue to battle this COVID-19 pandemic. So please be safe out there. Inside every bottle of Canada Dry Seltzer is a celebration. It's an exhilarating tingly experience that touches your senses. 
because it's a celebration of the healthy way more and more people are living today. It's a celebration for working out, for dieting, for taking care of your body. It's a Canada Dry celebration that will explode your thirst, refresh your taste. Canada Dry Seltzer, the virtually salt-free sparkling water that's right for the way you live today. Because it's sugar-free, calorie-free, and of course, virtually salt-free. So Canada Dry Seltzer is nothing but pure refreshment. Come on, don't just refresh yourself anymore. Seltzer break. Aren't you ready for Canada Dry Seltzer? Hi, I'm here today because I'm addicted. Big Flim Radio and TV. Get ready. You, you know, you know, you know. Now that's an addiction, man. Welcome back, folks. Like I said, we've been on the air for a couple of years now. And if you haven't heard, or this is your first time listening. Thank you for listening and stopping by to check out Big Flim's radio and TV podcast channel, as well as this particular podcast that we're working on. Like I said, we have an NFL edition, which I've already posted on Friday, but I'll repost it again on social media again to kind of refresh folks' memory. And again, like I said, if this is your first time, I thank you for stopping by. And like I said, Big Flame Radio and TV podcast channel you know, has six podcast shows dedicated to music, sports, mainly college football and NFL talk and if veterans information and issues you know and of course music since i love music and i love different genres of music and i hope to you know develop a fan base of people who just like to enjoy music whether you're black white you know, caucasian you're african-american you know latino you're asian you know vietnamese chinese korean you know U- ukrainian russian german British, French, Dutch, you know, African, you know, Nigerian, South African, Egyptian, whatever culture and country that you come from, if you just enjoy music, regardless of the genre, whether it's, you know, rock and roll music, rock music, pop music, hip hop, as long as it's not violent and just degrading, you know, you know, classic rock, hard rock, you know, reggae. Calypso, R&B, you know, adult contemporary, you know, Christian contemporary, regardless of what it is. If it's music that touches your soul and just entertains you and just you know brings life into your life, that's what I'm. That's what we're all about, you know. Yes, I'm a, I am an African American host, and like I said, I listen to different kind of music. I grew up listening to what. When I was growing up, they called white music. My sister used to tease me about it. My sister Narissa. I doubt she's listening, but yeah, she used to always tease me about listening to white music when I was a teenager or preteen. Yeah, I grew up during the period of the late 70s and the 80, decade of the 80s. Pre-teens, early 80s, mid-teens, young adulthood into the end of the 80s. And of course, I like 90s music. I like alternative you know, different things, you know, and then later develop, finally, like, listen to classical music, something I thought I detested when I was younger, but that's another story, but to get to the crux of what I'm saying is that if you just enjoy listening to music, enjoy lively conversations, or you want to participate in conversations, or you want to make a dedication, or if you want to be a guest picker and pronosticator for our, you know, Big Flynn's Pigskin Picks NFL and College Football Edition podcast shows, please, you know, Contact us at TV at gmail.com. Again, that's TV. That's one word. B-I-G-F-L-E-M as in Mike. R-A-D-I-O TV at gmail.com. And also put in the subject line, you know, dedication. And also you can leave your comments on how well we're doing on Big Flim Radio and TV, the podcast channel, as well as any podcast shows that we um broadcast and stuff like that so hey and also you know if you got any ideas the way we can improve like i said we're open to suggestions like i say you know we're still a work in progress i know i haven't been we haven't been fully active off and on 
and we still have spurts and whatever for whatever reasons, but we were trying to get it together to make it a more better podcast channel and podcast shows for your listening and viewing pleasure. Also, please check out the website also as well, which kind of explains who we are. And also, please check out our online store where you can buy some Big Flim radio and TV themed merchandise or merch. So please check that out. And also, we're on the social media platform. We have a Twitter handle is at Flim underscore radio. Again, that's Flim, F-L-E-M as in Mike, underscore radio, R-A-D-I-O. And also, we have a Facebook group page, with Big Flim Radio and TV. And also, we have a YouTube channel where we try to do some videos to correlate with some of our podcast episodes. So, check out our Facebook, our YouTube channel. Same thing at Big Flim Radio and TV. All right, folks, let's get back to our picks for week number two, shall we? All right, let's continue on. We have the Battle of Iowa, you know, interstate rivalry, where we have the Iowa State Cyclones from the Big 12. They want to know they won their season opener last week as they travel to Iowa City to take on the Iowa Hawkeyes from the Big from the Big 10 West Division, also at 1-0. Right now, the odds makers have this as a very close game, three and a half point favorites. But I think Iowa, if their offense gets going, like you said, I said, and then plus their defense as well. I think they're going to probably win at least by 10 points or so. So we're going to go with Iowa over Iowa State. All right, our next matchup, like I said, um, this week, our defending national championship, my home state team, the University of Georgia Bulldogs. Go Dogs! Um, they won handily over the Oregon Ducks last week. You know, and Right now they have their true home opener today at Sanford Stadium between the hedges and and Dooley Field as they open up their home stretch with another Bulldog, the Sanford Bulldogs from the FCS, from the state of great state of Alabama, from Birmingham, I believe. And of course, everybody knows this is going to be, a, I call it a cream puff game. It's going to be a major blowout. So this is an easy pick. You know, Georgia Bulldogs and also Georgia moved up in the AP poll also this week. They were number three to start the season last week with their handily win over Oregon last week. And Ohio, even though they won, but the voters felt Georgia was more convincing. So Georgia leapfrog Ohio State in the polls. So Georgia's number two behind Alabama. Right now they might be number one, especially the way I just read that Alabama barely squeaked by Texas. It was a close game and I was shocked. I figured Alabama will put up some points on Texas. But it didn't happen, so we'll see on Monday with the new AP25, Associated Press Top 25 polls come out. See if Georgia might leapfrog Alabama. We'll see. All right, moving right along. We have the number 25 ranked Houston Cougars. They won their season opener last week as they travel to Lubbock to take on Texas Tech and the Red Raiders, also at 1-0. One and, one and oh. Right now, our, the odds makers have Texas Tech, the three-point favorite over Houston. But we're going to go with the Houston Cougars. All right, our next pick, we have, let me see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Okay, we have a Big 12 matchup where we have the Kansas Jayhawks. They won their season over in the last week. As they hit the road, they hit to Morgantown, Virginia, to take on the West Virginia University Mountaineers. They lost their season over in the last week. And right now, they're trying to get back on the winning snide. And of course, like I said, my hopes and prayers are for the folks in West Virginia dealing with a lot of the flooding and all the rain as well, as also in, as well as in Kentucky as well. And all the folks in Appalachia, like I said, our thoughts and prayers, Big Flynn Radio TV's thoughts and prayers were with you as you guys recover, you know, from all that flooding you had over there. And, you know, just stay positive, stay strong and keep the faith over there. All right, getting back to the task at hand. Right now, the odds makers have what the Mountaineers are 13 and, a half, 13 and a half point favorites. So who am I to argue? So we're going to go with West Virginia over Kansas by two scores. All right, our next pick we have um, Georgia Tech. Speaking of my, our cross-state rival, like I said, they got their butts headed to them by Clemson, the ACC rival. So they started the season with a conference game at home. And now, the, now they have another home game where they host the Western Carolina Catamounts, the FCS team. 
and they won their season opener last week. Like you said, there's no odds maker line for this game, so hopefully Georgia Tech will wake up and get their first win of the season against the Western Carolina Catamounts. So we're going to go with the Yellow Jackets, a.k.a. the Bumblebees or the Broken Down Rex. So when to get their first win of the season. All right. Our next pick, we have this is a key um, SEC matchup, the SEC the East Division matchup, where we have the number 20, 20th ranked Kentucky Wildcats won their season opener last week as they travel down to Florida to Bob Hill Griffin Stadium, a.k.a. Florida Field, a.k.a. The Swamp, as they take on the number 12th ranked on Florida Gators, who won their season opener against Utah last week. Like I say, um, they, they play pretty good. So right now, hopefully they think that they expect a whole lot more from the Florida Gators that they might be a force to be reckoned with in the SEC, especially the SEC East Division, especially when tangling with Georgia down the road in their annual matchup. So right now they got the odds makers have Florida a six point favorite over Kentucky. But I think Kentucky, the way they hype in their quarterback and everything, hopefully they'll give Florida a run for their money. So we're going to go with Florida. I mean, excuse me, go with Kentucky, the Wildcats, over Florida in a close one. All right, our next matchup we have here, our other Georgia team, you know, S, here's the F, FCS team, the Georgia Southern Eagles, a.k.a. the Chickens. They won their season opener last week, and they traveled to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Cornhuskers from the Big Ten. They spent they lost their seat. They lost the season opener in Dublin two weeks ago. A lot of folks gave them a lot of flack over it for losing. So, and then they rebounded last week with their win. So now they might be looking for a statement win, if you want to call it that. Like, say, maybe a cream puff game for them. So we're going to go. I hate to go against Georgia Southern Eagles. Like I said, they're the, the theme from the old Division One AA. They won five national championships in one AA, or now Florida or football conference subdivision now. So, so we're going to go with the Nebraska Corn Huskers over the Georgia Southern Eagles. Sorry, folks. Sorry, Roger, and all the Georgia Southern folks and fans. All right, our next pick is we have the number 11 for rank Oklahoma State, the Cowboys, as they host the Pac-12 Arizona State Sun Devils. Right now, Oklahoma State, they got, the odds makers got them at 11-point favorite, so we're not going to you know, argue with that, so we'll stick with them, with the, Oklahoma, with, the Sooner, with the Cowboys, excuse me, over the Sun Devils. All right, our next pick, we have... Uh, Pac-12 matchup where we have the number 10 ranked USC Trojans with their new coach, Lincoln Riley. And, of course, their new quarterback, Caleb Williams, who transferred from Oklahoma. So, as they travel up to Palo Alto, up to the southern part of the Bay Area to take on the Stanford Cardinals. Or the Cardinal, that's how they pronounce it. Both teams won their season openers last week. George, um, USC won theirs handily in a blowout. So, hopefully that Stanford will give them a run for their money today. Right now, the odds makers got USC at an eight and a half point favorite, but we'll see if they can pull up with the Stanford Cardinals because they. I saw on ESPN College Game Day, the Lee Corso said that Stanford was was. Four and one when they play each other. The next pick we have, we have the Virginia Tech Hokies. They lost three season opener last week. This is an ACC matchup where they host the Boston College Eagles, who also lost their season opener. And right now the odds makers got them at a two and a half point favorite, so we're going to stick with them. All right. We're going to keep moving on here. We got the New Mexico State Aggies at 0-2. We got battle of 0-2 teams here. And right now, well, actually local teams will state 
think they're yeah they're in Las Cruces. We drove well, we drove through there this past weekend, beginning of this week, coming from Texas, and also we passed by El, El Paso. We passed by the campus of the University of Texas El Paso UTEP, the Miners. Both of them are going to right now. One of these teams will get their first win of the season. So. So right now the odds makers got UTEP 16 point favorite over New Mexico. Now uh, Cruz is that little drive from the I-10 and the 25. So we picked UTEP Miners. All right, our next pick we have the number nine ranked Baylor Bears. At 1-0, they won their season opener as they travel up to Provo, Utah in Mormon country to take on the number 21 ranked BYU Cougars, who also won their season opener. Right now, they got BYU at a three-point favorite to win. I would say that I'll probably stick with that. We will stick with that. You know, go with BYU over Baylor. Our next pick, we have Oregon State Beavers. Won their season opener as they travel to Fresno to take on the Fresno State Bulldogs. Right now, the odds makers have them. Actually, they got them at even, basically. So, I guess... Like I said, Derek Carr from the Raiders and his brother, you know, David Carr. You know, play at Fresno State. So we're going to go with Fresno State and keep that Bulldog theme going. Yes, what? Okay. All right, our next game we have the game. We have the Mississippi State Bulldogs, the other Bulldogs. The SEC at 1 0, they won their season opener as they travel to the hot deserts of Tucson, take on the Arizona Wildcats at 1 0. Right now, they got Mississippi State at 10 and a half point favorite over Arizona, the Wildcats. And we're going to stick with them as well. All right. All right, our next pick. Like I said, it's a minor pick. Is this is mainly F FCS stuff here, where we got the University of Maine there in Orono. The Black Bears host the Colgate Raiders. Both teams are 0 1. One so one of these teams will get their first win, and we'll go with the Maine Black Bears over Colgate. All right, our next pick is South Carolina State at 0-1 traveling down from Orangeburg, South Carolina, traveling down to Daytona Beach to take on the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. Both are also 1-0. They're, the, they're HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. And I'll give a shout out to all the HBCUs. And one of these teams are looking for their first wins. And also I had a cousin that graduated, a distant cousin that graduated from South Carolina State. So we will go with South Carolina State over the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. All right, our next pick is we have East, East Tennessee State University Buccaneers at 1-0, traveling to Char Charleston, Chucktown, as they call it, to take on the Citadel Bulldogs. That's a military academy there in South Carolina. who lost their season opener last week, so hopefully they'll get their first win of the season. So we're going to go with the Citadel Bulldogs. All right, our next pick is we have Albany State and my home state of Georgia, the Ram, the Golden Rams. Right now, this is starting their season off as they travel to Tallahassee to take on the Florida A&M Rattlers, or the Rattler, Rattler Stakes. We lost their first two games of the season, so somebody's going to get their first win of the season. And also, shout out to the Marching 100 Marching Band. They're a great band, so if you get a chance, listen to them or see them perform on TV or whatever. They're very interesting and they're very entertaining. But to stick with my home state theme, we're going to go with the Albany State Golden Rams to get their first win of the season. All right, our next pick is we have the Battle of Delaware on um, Joe Biden's neck of the woods where we got Delaware State Hornets at 1-0 as they travel to Delaware to fight the Fighting Blue Hen. We're going to go with the Fighting Blue Hen over Delaware State. And also another next match, we have the Camel University Camels, Fighting Camels. Out of Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, that's west of Fayetteville, northwest of Fayetteville. As they want to know, they take on William and Mary, the tribe. You know, so we're going to go with Campbell, the fighting camels. All right. Moving right along, we're going to continue on with our HBCUs. We got Jackson State under the two, under the head coaching of 
Neon Deion Sanders. They won their season opener last week, and Deion Sanders' son, he's the quarterback there. He's, he threw five touchdown passes in their debut last week as they traveled to Nashville, Music City, USA, to take on Tennessee State Tigers. So the Battle of the Tigers, battle between Deion Sanders and Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey graduated from Tennessee State. So we're going to go with Deion Sanders and the, uh, the Jacksonville State's Tigers over Tennessee State's Tigers. All right, our next matchup, we have another um, HBCU, Grambling State, the Tiger. The other, the other Tigers, they lost their season opener as they traveled to Northwest, to Northwest Louisiana, Northwest State, to take on the Demons. Also, who lost their season opener last week, so one of these teams will get their first win of the season. So we're going to go with Grambling. All right, our next pick is Morgan State, another HBCU. They lost their season opener last week. Morgan State Bears out of Baltimore. And then they travel on the other side of Baltimore to take on Townsend State, the Tigers, who won their season opener last week. So we're going to go with Morgan State to win, to beat the Townsend and Tigers to get their first win of the season. All right, folks, I know we've talked a lot and we've done a lot of picking. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Big Flims, Pigskin Picks, and if college football edition for week number two. We're going to go ahead and go right through our picks, do a rundown of all our picks that we made today. Like I said, we picked Miami, number 15 Miami over Southern Miss Golden Eagles. We picked number 16 Arkansas over South Carolina. We picked number one, the currently number one team, Alabama Crimson Side, in a close one over Texas. We picked Wake Forest, number 23 right, Wake Forest Demon Deacons over Vanderbilt Commodores. We picked the Army West Point Blue Black Knights over UC, UT San Antonio the Roadrunners. We picked the number five Clemson in a blowout over Furman Paladins. We picked the number 17 ranked Pittsburgh Panthers over number 24 ranked Tennessee Volunteers, all told. We got the number 19 Wisconsin Badgers at Kent Randall Stadium over the Washington State Cougars. We got the Air Force Academy Falcons, aka the Zoomies, over the Colorado Buffaloes. We got Virginia Cavaliers over the Illinois Fighting Illini. We picked Iowa State Hawkeyes over the Iowa State Cyclones in the Battle of Iowa. We have, of course, Georgia's going to blow out the other Bulldog, the Sanford Bulldogs in Athens in their, their season opener. Then we got number 25, the current number two ranked Georgia. They may be number one probably Monday. We'll see how the polls turn out. So, And then number 25, Houston Cougars over Texas Tech, the Red Raiders. We picked West Virginia Mountaineers over the Kansas Jayhawks in the Big 12 matchup. We picked the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, a.k.a. the Broken Down Rex or Rambling Rex, over Western Carolina and Catamounts for their first win of the season. We picked the number 20 Kentucky Wildcats over the number 12 Florida Gators in a close one down in the swamp. We picked Nebraska Cornhuskers in a route over the Georgia Southern Eagles. We have the number one ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys over the Arizona State Sun Devils. We picked Stanford over number 10 ranked USC in a close one. We pick Virginia Tech over Boston Eagle or Boston College Eagles for their first win of the season. We pick UTEP Miners over the New Mexico State Aggies for their first win of the season. We picked the number 21 ranked BYU Cougars over number 9 Baylor. We picked the Fresno State Bulldogs over the Oregon State Beavers. We picked Mississippi State Bulldogs, the other Bulldogs, over the Arizona Wildcats. We picked the University of Maine Black Bears and Orono over Colgate Raiders. We picked South Carolina State Bulldogs, another Bulldog, over the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. We picked the Citadel Bulldogs, another Bulldog, over the East Tennessee State University Buccaneers. Like I said, it's a real good theme this weekend. The Bulldogs. Several Bulldogs we picked. Then we got the Albany State Golden Rams over the Florida A&M Rattlers. And also please check out their Marching 100 band as they performed during halftime. Like I said, they're a very interesting band, so please check them out. And also we picked Delaware, the Fighting Blue Hen over Delaware State. We picked the Campbell University Fighting Camels over William & Mary, the Tribe. We picked Jackson State, the Battle of the Tigers. We picked Jackson State's version with Deion Sanders over Tennessee State and over Winfrey. And then we picked another Tiger. We picked Grambling State over Northwestern State to get their first win of the season. We picked Morgan State Bears 
over at Crosstown Rivals, the Townsend Tigers in the Battle of Baltimore. And that is it, folks. I know this is a long podcast episode, and I hope I didn't put you guys to sleep. And I hope you were entertained today. So, so with that in mind, I would encourage you to check out our website, check out our online store. And like I say again, if you want to be a guest picker and guest prognosticator for the Big Flint's Pigskin Picks College Football Edition, as well as the NFL Edition, or if you want to you know, dedicate a song, or if you want to contribute a song to our other our podcast shows, Lorenzo's Jams and Reflections. And also, if you want to be a guest on our talk show, you know, Lorenzo's Commentaries, or if you're a veteran, if you want to you know, inter- interject or add something to our Veterans Information and Talk on Podcast, Veteran Nation Today, by all means, please contact us at Big Flim Radio TV at gmail.com. Again, that's Big Flim Radio TV at gmail.com. That's B I G F L E M as in Mike R A D I O T V. And also, please, like I said, use our social media platforms Twitter at Flim underscore radio. That's F L E M as in Mike underscore radio R A D I O. And we have a Facebook group page as well as a YouTube channel page, Big Flim Radio and TV. So, until then, tune in again next week for another episode of Big Flims, Pigskin Picks College Edition for week number three. And also please check out Big Flims, Pigskin Picks NFL Edition for our Sunday games tomorrow. Like I said, I've already posted it on some of our social media platforms from Friday, but I will repost it again and check it out. You know, So please do that. And also, like I said, we're still fighting with COVID. We're still dealing with COVID. So I please I highly encourage you to take care of yourself and your family. If you're not vaccinated, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You do what you got to do to take care of yourself and your family. And like I said, please, you know, if you got to wear your mask, wear your mask. Make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. Make sure you use hand sanitizer. Maintain social distancing and stuff like that. So please take care of yourself. And also be careful because there's another disease running around called monkeypox. So please make sure you be careful because they consider that a sexually transmitted disease and all that good stuff. So make sure you be careful. Please use protection. All right. So enough of the health PSA. So let's go ahead and sign off for now. All right. Until then, take care, peace, love, and God bless. And continue to listen to Big Flim Radio and TV. I'm your host, Lorenzo Big Flim Fleming. So long and take care. Peace and progress. Big Flims, Pigskin Picks, NFL, and College Football Editions are a production of Black Rebel Productions in association with Flim Media, a division of LWF Enterprises, LLC. The opening theme music clips are the sole properties of CBS Sports College Football as well as Fox NFL Sports. This podcast is intended for entertainment purposes only.